Hi. So you want to do VCA. Do you like working with groups? Are you committed to working with communities for the long term? Will you treat community members, no matter what their situation is in life, with respect and dignity? Do you have the support of your national society, if you're with the Red Cross or Red Crescent, or from your organization? Does this describe you? Did you answer yes to all of the questions? Okay, let's look at how we do VCA. In a sentence, VCA is a participatory based methodology for collecting and analyzing information about community problems and then building sustainable solutions that the community itself can develop and implement using their own capacities. We reduce vulnerability and increase capacity. Let's break this down into manageable pieces. The first thing that we do is we apply a series of participatory information gathering techniques that allow us to get a better understanding of what the vulnerabilities and capacities are in a community. One of the tools that we use is called mapping. It's where we physically draw a map with community members so they can see what's really going on in their community. Now there are two types of maps that we use. One of the maps is called risk and hazard mapping, where we show on the map where there are problem areas in the community. The second map is called capacity and resource map. And what this map does is it allows us to see where there are assets in the community. Seasonal calendars are another tool that we use. And what seasonal calendars allow is that we can see what the rhythm of community life is, kind of a day-to-day -day way that people live. Another tool is called historical visualization. This lets us see what trends are over time in the community, and it also identifies major events that have happened that help to give identity to that community. Another tool is focus groups, where we bring people together and we can get a deeper perspective of how community people view problems. But these are just a few of many different tools. And some of those tools don't exist, and you may have to invent them. Let's take a minute and talk about participation. Participation means that everybody involved in the process has a voice and has the right to be included in the decisions that are made. Community members themselves, women, men, youth, children, the elderly. Remember, the more people that are involved in collecting information and analyzing information, the better and more sustainable will be the decisions that are made on how to address the problems. Then, through participatory analysis, we try to understand what the root problems are and how these affect the lives of people in the community. The community then takes those problems, prioritizes which are the most important, and then decides which ones they want to address. Sometimes, we need help. Communities can't do everything, and we as organizations don't have all the skills and the knowledge to address all the solutions to all the problems. We need to build alliances. We need to work with government, we need to work with community groups, and with other international organizations to better implement the solutions to the problems. Remember, success largely depends on our capacity to provide the support that communities need so that they can make the change. VCA is not a project. It's not simply writing a report. VCA is a tool for change. And if you use it correctly, it can be a very, very powerful tool. So does this sound interesting to you? Do you want to be involved in a process that can lead to real and meaningful change and improve the quality of life for people? If you want to do VCA, talk to your Red Cross or Red Crescent. Take a VCA course, but more than anything, make sure you're committed to working with communities for positive change. You can make a difference.